You know, fucking, you're just a fucking dramatic ass. It's gonna be fun. No, I can't stand that is stupid. <laughs> That's stupid. This one, not this one. Why Cindy not? was one thing where they thought it was a tropical storm, and then the next day after it hit us, they upgraded it to a tropical tea. I mean, to a hurricane too. Dude, it was ridiculous. This Don't be a dipshit. This is not. Why don't we just this go? Is not like, oh, what are you worried about? A couple tapes. Bring the fucking I mean, things to the You don't have kids, and you're a young man, and all that. But it's, if it if it hits here, it's gonna be really, really yeah. scary. All right. We're all gonna go together. We have fucking four seats in this car. Let's just go on a fun road trip. Where's four seasons? No four. No four seats. I don't want to drive by myself because I'm tired. Let's just go. It'll be fun. Hey, going? We'll get it. Well, good luck, guys. Hey. Hey. Yep. We know who's going to be impacted, and we feel that's going to be all of Southeast Louisiana, coastal Mississippi as well. You hear that? But as it gets closer to the end, then. We really want to know where that center of circulation is going to go because that's where the words are going to be. They pull out some important things. It's going to be flooded. People are going to die. No one's dying at this hole. Alligators. They might die. You're going to die and I'm going to kick your ass. Look at how the calm before the storm. Look how beautiful it is. That's what I'm saying, bro. Cook, 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 for you. There's like no breeze. It's not even humid. Nothing. Right, we'll see you in a little bit. Where's, uh, all these people bringing up those names, bringing up George, bringing up Camille, bringing up Betsy. They remember all these major hurricanes. And that's, you know, on one hand, a good thing for uh, for these people that they remember how that is. They board it up and they get out of town. So they know what's coming and they know how to prepare for it for the most part. I mean, you love on the Gulf Coast, that's probably the smartest thing to do. All right, Ben, thank you. We appreciate that report. Now, I'm going on the Gulf Coast this afternoon. All right, now, are we going to do it to, uh, to Tom Trump? There they go. We're we're okay, we're not. All right, good. We do want to we we do want to go ahead and uh, take a look at some uh, video. Uh, Counterflow is in effect. Uh, you can see the uh, traffic back up on the Interstate 10 heading out of the city. That's uh, westbound. If you can imagine a, ca a slow moving Category 4, which is what we may be looking at, we would have yeah we would have water uh, tens of feet high, a rancid pool of just yuck, and then animals and snakes. And I mean it's this is realistic. So. Not. Well, and the, the good thing about this, you know, we've talked so much about the time that we have. Thanks very much, Bill. Yeah, we talked right. so much about the, the time that we have. The good part of having time, the, the extra day, as Charlotte Randolph mentioned, is that there's lots of time to make decisions, and the mayor uh, and even the meteorologists comfortably believe that, that it's okay to wait until tomorrow morning to make your decision, although we should say we were expecting to hear from the mayor. Everybody who lives on the West Bank in St. Charles Parish and below remembers Hurricane Juan, one right. of the notorious hurricanes, and it, it was nothing, a glorified thunderstorm, except that it sat out there for three days and kicked up the tides. This won't do that for three days, but it'll have a lot of force and a lot of water. So, you know, tidal concerns are, are huge. To, to sustain that well, kind of flooding, for category not three. for Category 4. So if you have a, a high Category 3 and almost a 4, you never know if the flood walls can hold. Well, then it's a 510 update uh, to the public. We are still tracking Hurricane Katrina. Uh, which is now a Category 3 and is predicted to continue to become stronger and stronger as time goes on to Category 4. We're now in a position to call for a voluntary evacuation uh, as of this point. Uh, with Trina. But when we start to see an eye developed by the satellite imagery, that's when we're really going to have to be concerned about this uh, strengthening. Now, these are the uh, latest uh, coordinates, 24.6 north, 85.6 west. And uh, from the previous advisory, it actually has come up 0.1 north. So it's finally started to move a little bit north of due west. Well, Cindy was, I mean, I'll just be honest there, Cindy was absolutely nothing compared to uh, what this could be if it makes landfall as a category joke. Storm surge uh, above 18 feet, possibly as high as uh, 25 feet, 30 feet. Uh, it just would be a, a very high storm surge. Windows and doors would likely be blown out, complete roof failure on many homes and businesses, and some buildings would just be completely destroyed. Now, the right surface winds coming together, a little, a little outflow up top so that air can rise and continue to spin. Suddenly you have a hurricane that's a Category 3 now and threatening to be a Category 4 by the time it makes landfall Monday morning. Put my notebooks and stuff. Notebooks like that. School. The plastic bags and this tarp. It's going to go in here. There's some below here, too. Mardi Gras beads wrapped up. And, uh... Stuff I'm going to take with me. That is music. Shut in there. 
and that growth can create some damage, not as widespread as where the maximum Maybe winds are. Walmart but we're still looking at some fairly, fairly good damage to some buildings and a lot of those trees and power lines down and okay. signs and shrubs, just stuff. We're talking about the there western part of Washington Parish, a little bit of St. Tammany, but also most of Tammany. Best I can tell you tonight, uh, just try and relax and get a good night's sleep. If you can get six, eight hours, that'd be terrific. You're going to have plenty of time tomorrow. If you need to get out, you will have that window of opportunity to get out. If Chris O'Sullivan's going out tonight right down the road from my house. So I decided I would go. Here's my room. I could pack these clothes. There's a lot of my clean clothes. That's going to stay. Yeah, it's going to stay. This stuff right here. It's going to be taped. <laughs> I don't know if I'm taking it. Actually, I am taking it. It's my videotapes. Taking that with me. Taking the drill with me and the camera charger. I'm also going to take... That's tapes. I don't even label shit. These, those are staying. That's coming with. That's coming with. That's coming with. That's coming with. And that's coming with. My backpack. The nails is gonna have to remain. I found what I needed. And I'm freaking tired. And I'm gonna go have a beer and talk to the locals about what the fuck is going on and why are they staying. We need to get out now. What we'll do Sunday is morning. kind of focus in real close on. You see how these elements are they're they're coming uses. this way? We've got software We're down here, and uh, here's what the wave heights are doing as we approach the storm. Massive. Now up to 55 feet. Remember, so again, we still have this window of opportunity to get out of town, and hopefully uh, some of you will take that uh, advice and do it. Here's a look at that forecast track. You can see the coordinates 25.7 north, 87.7 west, category 5 hurricane. This is something in my worst dreams I did not ever want to see happening in our area. It looks like the Mississippi Gulf Coast, Hancock, Harrison, and over towards Jackson counties. You will have the greatest risk of tornadoes. In the so my advice and my, I guess, plea is that if you have a chance to leave today, that is when you would want to leave while the weather is still good. Because as we get later into the evening, and especially the overnight hours, the weather is going to go downhill pretty fast. Graphics of the rising water. I mean, this 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 is probably going to happen now. Yeah, this is the uh, scenario that we've been hearing about and talking about and afraid to see happen that is now looks like may happen. This again is gridlock. Nothing is moving. It's stalled. I have recommended all morning, this. do not, if you are trying to leave the city, don't go out this way. This is not the way to leave. You want some alternate route to get out of town. You can't do it getting out Interstate 10 going west. If you're on the East Bank, you do not want to get into this nightmare of a traffic jam. And we, it's, I'm, I have no encouragement. I, if I didn't have to work here, gang, I wouldn't be here. This is a scary situation. As powerful as Katrina could flood the city with 18 feet of water. This is the one to really worry about. Whereas because of anticipated high lakes and marsh tides due to the tidal surge combined with the possibility of intense thunderstorms, hurricane force winds, and widespread severe flooding, Governor Blanco and I, Mayor C. Ray Nagin, have each declared a state of emergency. Now, therefore, I, as mayor of the city of New Orleans, <clears throat> pursuant to the authority granted by L.A. Rev. Stat 29-727, do hereby promulgate and issue the following orders, which will be effectively immediately and, and which will remain in effect until the earlier of five days following the date of this issuance, or the declaration by the governor that the state of emergency no longer exists. It's a, it's a super strong five if it, man, if it manages to maintain its intensity. There's still time to leave. Yes, there is still time. Because when's the window closed? Well, the problem is the interstate is, is gridlocked. You have to know where you're going, and you can't go out on the interstate. You have to go. You see, the traffic is just, it's just stuck in the 
that's probably not likely to change for a while. And, but there are other ways out. Coming in on South Broad, I saw a lot of folks, you know, out mingling on the street talking. Uh, hopefully they're uh, talking about their plans to uh, get on out and join the Contra flow and get out of the city.